Green game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut season, North Top, you stop breathing. Yes, sir, you know. Uh, can't wait. I mean, I say, you know, most people know that there was another big fight. Really one that's had so much fucking controversy. Like, I've never seen so much controversy over a fight like this. Over, and it's just a whole bunch of hot takes, just random ass hot takes. Of course, I'm talking about Devin Haney hot and uh, Vasily Lomachenko. Before we get into that fight, though, gotta acknowledge the KO of the year now, the newest KO of the year contender, Junto Nakatani. Whew. Knocking Andrew Maloney the fuck shout out. out with shout, out shout out to Junto because he won me some money. So, Look at that bread. Yeah. That 12th round KO. That was vicious, man. That was vicious. That was a vicious beating of all. Was that 12th or 11th round KO? 12. It was a 12th, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was. It was like the cherry on top of an ass whooping cake. Yeah, yeah nigga, said, almost, said, he almost made it to the very end. God and, and, and I said it on the preview, too. I was like, Andrew Maloney is, in, in is going to take a beating. He's like, I, I, already, I already knew what time it was because Nakatani is a motherfucker to deal with. And and, and it was exactly how it played. Like, Nakatani dropped him twice. And was literally being like uppercuts, everything was being everything. Shit out of yeah, the, the, only, the only thing that saved Maloney for, for like like that made him last that long was his damn wrestling tactics. Yeah, he was, yeah, because dude was grabbing, and, holding, like any chance he got kind of threw Nakatani off a little bit, but he was yeah, able to find him again. He, he he was tough because most dudes would have folded after that second knockdown. <laughs> after yeah, second. Exactly, yeah, because yeah. But then, Maybe he should have in the in the in, in the, the ref yeah. and them should have like the corner yeah. should have never gave him that twelve. I'm glad he didn't because he wouldn't have won me some money. If <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but you know, money for you are this nigga's career. Like, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I'll be back. I'll be back. I mean, okay. I mean, I was gonna Trey's gonna get criticized for that. I mean, he's already getting criticized now because you know, in the corner they were like, "Yo, you know, I'm I'm stopping this fight, mate. I'm stopping this fight." You know, like you should I show me. Well, he said, mate? "Well, the, the corner almost stopped it in the eleventh after he got dropped." Yeah, that was close. They, they, yeah. they, were, they were like, "Here's one last chance." Type of thing. yeah, like, you just gotta chill with the coulda, woulda, shoulda stopped well, it. Like, yo, nigga, it's like it's weird because it's like you didn't stop it then, and then when he gets to his corner. What going into the twelfth round? You say, "Show me something, or I'm gonna stop it." It's the twelfth yeah, round. That. We're like, "What do you mean, show me something? I'm gonna stop it." He showed you everything already. It's he showed you everything. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The the coulda, woulda, shoulda stop it. Is like, yo, bro, like, if you gonna stop it, stop it. Don't yeah. you show me the death, like motherfucker? You gonna show me a grave if I keep getting these ass whooping? Yeah, right, right, yeah. Like at, at the final round, what is there to show? You've seen everything. You've, you've seen, seen everything. everything. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Like well, one fucking you. round ain't gonna make a difference. Either yeah, stop it. From what you've seen of Junto, do y'all think um, um, how would he fare against Juan Estrada and? Oh, he's gonna get. I think he's gonna give a lot of these guys problems. I Juan, I don't know. He's a bit, I mean, Nakatani is pretty tall for the weight. Nak, you know? Nak, Nak, Nak is awkward, but he's. Uh, I see some things that that Gaio could take advantage of, but Gaio's also kind of going on the downside. Get on the downside. So, oh, damn. Like, I think Nakatani could give Gaio some real issues. I think it will give anybody at 115 issues. Anybody. I mean, I think Nakatani will... will, will he knocks about both of them, really. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have you to understand how wild that knockout is. That knockout perforated both of Maloney's eardrums. Like, dude oh, was on the man. ground shaking. From that knockout, the way like, he measured it too. Oh, the way he measured that shit was it was yeah. beautiful. That was picked up. Yeah, he, he, you know? yep, he tapped. He made he made Maloney open up as he was in the process of throwing the jab. He threw duck under. It was over. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who would have thought the KO of the year so far is a, a one fifteen Japanese fighter? <laughs> Imagine that, yo. So yeah, you know, yeah. I, I, I think I think that they're not telling us you know what really happened in the after effects of Hiroshima. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because that was. One of them crazy ass punches. I was like, I mean, that was audible too. It was like, felt like it's, it felt like a fucking melon hitting the fucking ground or some shit like that. I mean, Maloney was bleeding from his eyes. He was shaking. Like you could tell, like this dude, was like, look, he was about to go get that stretcher treatment. Like you know, he was, like, he was out of there. Like, I'm glad he's okay though. I'm glad. I'm yeah, okay. yeah, same, I'm, glad same he's like, I'm glad he's good. Yeah, but so. goddamn, both eardrums began busted off that one shot. That's fucking insane power. Like you. Know, you're not supposed to. You're not. You know, that, that, that's not. Those. You're not supposed to get both your eardrums busted with, with one shot. You know. So it's like, yeah. I. I, I, I mean. I'm. I'm like. I'd say. I do hope. You know. I mean. He does recover. Like. I mean. He's. He's probably gonna be down for a little bit. He's probably. He's, I mean. Yeah, I want. I wouldn't be surprised if it's for the end of the year. He's not gonna come back. Like. You know, yeah. I mean, no, I, I, take the rest. Yeah. Of the year. Yeah. So, but shout out to Nagatani and shout out to Raymond Mortaya too. 
knockout after knockout. Yeah, I honestly like, didn't think he would gear up Nakatia that goddamn fast. I didn't think so too because he's a slow starter. And then all the other was a good, st- a good stoppage. No, it wasn't. I, honestly, it wasn't a good stoppage. But I'm not mad. Because well, not because that was kind of flopping around. I thought it was a good yeah, he was done and he wasn't gonna take no more because dude, dude was standing up right, never shook, never moved his head. Mm-hmm. It's like I could tell the way he was fighting. I was like, yo, if dude start landing some overhands and just sell out early, he could not just get die it, out. Like, yeah. dude seemed like he didn't even warm up in the dressing room like that to me. No, no, I, was, he, I was a little worried because that well, felt like I, I, said, I mean. Uh, like I said, Murtai is a notoriously slow starter, yeah. so I, was, I wasn't sure he was, like he was gonna get get the pace going for until like round four or so. But I think he just found an opening, just hit him with that left hook that, that started that started the sequence, and then that was what ended to where we got. So yeah, because he knew, dude. Like like he did a heat check early. Like look at let, let me see this dude look like he did his. I could knock him out. Let me just try. And then oh shit, knocked him out. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, if you, you're the younger guy, you're the prospect, you're the dude. Like, I mean, see, he seen what it, you seen what it did for Tia Fimo. You you knock out these African, these tough African fighters early. I mean, think about it. Shakur Shakur at one thirty was scared to throw with this dude. Went twelve and said apologize about it. And you got this guy Muratala knocking him out. I'm just saying, you know. I mean, Shakur did drop Nakatia in the fight, though. It wasn't like yeah, he, he was, dropped him. He did, yeah, he did drop. Oh yeah, him. no, it, it it wasn't it wasn't a good it wasn't a good performance. He apologized on Twitter after. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry about the boo. You know, like you know, clearly he was. But I mean, you know, that was a big fight. Yeah, he's like, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Meanwhile, Muratai is like, yeah. And you don't stop. It's a one mix seven on a motherfucking car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all think we're tall like Keyshawn next, or maybe wait on that a little bit. Let it marinate. No, nah, that, that, that's too early for Keyshawn. I think because yeah, bro, more is going to be in line for a for a belt if the belts drop. They gonna try to make him a star, bro. Like they're not yeah. gonna waste this opponent this this opportunity on Keyshawn. Then they're, 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 they're gonna prioritize him more than Keyshawn. No, they, they probably have a trajectory for Keyshawn, but I don't think they're going to meet now. They're not going to meet like, this year. Because nah. this win right there make you really a contender. Like, the Keyshawn have a win that makes him a contender? Yeah, he's, contender? Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a win behind. He's a, he's a win behind. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're, like this dude's already ahead of him. Right. Even though Keyshawn might have the more bigger name. Right. You know, I mean, I I like how they're moving Keyshawn, but they, they can't they can't move him that to that that damn fast, like you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you Keyshawn know? nice, but he ain't that nice, right? And speaking of that, who's not that nice? Talk about some someone someone who looked really one day because Oscar Valdez and you know Adam Lopez. Like, first of all, like I have to say, like the, the commentating on the whole top rank card was just trash. It was really trash. It carried over from the Katie Teller card, yeah, actually. You know. Like. It was, just, it was just a bad day for commentary in boxing in general. Like, it and just they was. Were, they were dick riding the fuck out of uh, Valdez. What doing. Like, Valdez, well, all he was doing was just being extra aggressive and throwing a fucking left hook or an overhand right on, on a guy who could have he, he cut the ring off on. Like, you know, like, you know, Adam Lopez, they, they did show him no fucking love on the cards. Like, bro, what? An they didn't show him no love, no respect at all, bro. Like, yeah. Like, you could have made a case for him winning the first six rounds. Like, honest to God, like, Valdez, all he did was just follow dude around the ring and wing hard, reckless shots Mm -hmm. that every now and then would land or he would get countered. Like, Mm -hmm. oh, my goodness. And, And the shit that I ain't like with the whole fucking anytime Lopez punches were actually effective on Valdez. He would make Valdez stop or he would push Valdez back, especially when he would just go into the middle of the ring and just go toe to toe with him. Right. You could tell. But the difference is Valdez, I'm sorry, Lopez, I feel like is a naturally heavier, bigger puncher, like guy. Like he's a, he's physically stronger than Valdez. So when he gets up close, he's putting weight behind his shots where Valdez he doesn't have the same weight behind his shots unless he throws those hard fucking Canelo fucking try too hard punches. Right. And that's all he had. And he would legit get tired with them shits. Like, I don't know what the fuck they were seeing. They, they were saying his punches are pity pat. 
Andre yeah. Ward was giving Lopez the hardest time ever. Pause. Like this nigga was talking about uh, fucking you know it, it, Lopez was hitting with little brother shots. I'm like, come on, Andre. Yeah, come that was, on, honestly, that was disrespectful. Like real shit, that was disrespectful. Copper went old D shilling yesterday. I mean, like, you know, and uh, how'd you like Max real quick? How'd you like Max on the broadcast? Max killing it. Yeah, we'll get to him later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got some bars for him later. Oh yeah, and also for a yeah. shout out to some newcomers, Rax. Hey, we see you on there, and uh, Miss Bitch. <laughs> welcome, welcome back, Rax. Salute my dog Rax and uh, you know Bitch Mania. Shouts out to Bitch Mania. Pause or whatever if you want to pause. It. Yeah. <laughs> Salute. Man. Oh no! But, oh no! We're, we're, trust me, we're getting to handy. Yeah, we get into that. I, I know everybody's waiting for that fight. Yeah. But the thing is, if we would have started off, some of y'all would have probably got into the room late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then y'all would have missed it, and everybody would have been on this something else, and everybody been like, "Oh, handy this, Lomachenko that." And we're like, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. Like, you have to warm up a little bit. So, so yeah, yeah, we have to warm up. And Katie Taylor deserves some bars, so you know. Right. But yeah, back, back, back to you. Awesome. But yeah, no, but yeah, it was just like, you know, Lopez, you know, he put on a good performance. Cause like I said, I mean, with the exception of the 10th round, the 12th round, because he took the headbutt and the punch, which clearly had him like out of there, like had him like, you know, we, you know, ha- had him like mess up and referee didn't even stop the actor. It was like, oh, well, you got to continue. And Lopez still could have even, uh, Valdez could have still could have even finished him after that. So it's like, yeah. You know, so yeah, I mean, like Lopez deserved a lot more credit for his performance than Valdez did because they was like, "Oh, Valdez will win easily on the cards." Valdez was not expected to win this on the cards. Yeah, exactly. And remember how, dude? Everybody's like, "Oh, Valdez won the first fight, so he should beat his." Dude, I'm like, did y'all think it's was the first fight? Like, like literally, Valdez won on some damn ref bullshit. Like literally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I and <laughs> go ahead. No, I'm just saying it's just like I'm just like flabbergasted the way niggas was trying to make that seem like it was just a walk in the park fight for Valdez. And then the commentary just went with that narrative. Like they wanted to just make it seem like, yeah, the fight was always gonna be a walk in the park. Yeah, and not. we're gonna the first fight wasn't a walk in the park, why would the second fight? Right. But dude, I feel like we're the only niggas who acknowledging how hard that fight was. Everybody well, no, else because, because and then the excuses were, well, like, you know, like for the first one, because I said, oh, well, you know, why, the first one wasn't a walk in the park. Why would the second one be? Oh, well, you know, Valdez took that on short notice. I don't want to hear that. Excuse what me. What the fuck? Lopez took it on short notice, too. Yeah, exactly. Who's like, what the fuck? 30 hours short notice? Dude, dude, look, look. First of all, it's more telling on the guy who's the Olympian with the Olympian pedigree. They look if you're an Olympian athlete, Olympian boxer level, you're used to taking elite opponents on short notice, their style, whatever. You you're adapt. used to that. You adapt like a chameleon. You adapt. You, you adapt like you get to a certain level. Uh, when you get to Olympian, you done seen, you done pretty much seen it all. So it shouldn't be on us to make excuses for Valdez. Yeah, no excuses it, needed. Um, yeah, I know you. I know you're not making it, but niggas is is doing that shit, and it's like so, with, with Lopez, it's like it's really more on him. Like, yo, bro, you're getting a little payday right. boost. You get the main event, yeah. thirty hours. Hey, you, you willing to go against Valdez? It's it's a tougher fight than what you signed and, up and, for. And they wanted above one thirty two. Remember, keep that in mind. They had like a one thirty two for the weight. Remember, he inter- when we interviewed him, yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm, I don't know from that performance. I'm not sure. I'm not confident anymore that I'd favor Valdez versus Navarrete for the long no, time. I, I, I know. I never was. Was uh, I don't know now. Never. I don't know now. Don't know now. Yeah, Navarrete. I was never, I was never favoring uh, Valdez. Uh, he literally uh, barely. He barely beat Lopez, and it was more Lopez kind of <laughs> fizzling out in the second half. The, the, the best version of all this I felt was, uh, uh, was uh, you know was confident in, in being him, but I don't know if that guy exists anymore. You know, what I mean, that's all. I just don't think that guy. Ever since Robson Casesa and the green t shirt, he ain't been the same. The injuries, and- nah, but he always been having struggle hard fights. Yeah, with him, man, with- struggles. Yeah, you're right. yeah, like it don't matter. Like honestly, Lopez was doing the right shit. He was yeah, giving him movement. He was boxing him behind the jab. Fucking, he wasn't afraid to then push him back and get in the trenches with him. Right. Then he would move out the way. The thing is, it just he got less offensive. 
Meanwhile, right. meanwhile, you know, Valdez had a hard time catching him, had to like just plant and like to to, to and throw winging shots and couldn't couldn't hit most of the time. It was really annoying. It was annoying. Right. Yeah. Like he didn't start landing those hard shots until like maybe his seventh round. Yeah, I, I personally I had it six four Valdez. Like just like he barely scraped by. And that was mainly because he he uh he ch- he channeled his inner Josh Warrington in that tenth round with that yeah, head butt. Yeah, he did. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah. He turned it up in the last couple of rounds. Like he just kind of went into his whole like stalker Mosley power boxing, mm-hmm. and yeah, like he barely won the like honestly like and then the head, but like at the end he still couldn't do shit. But but yeah, like um. I know it might sound like we're like Lopez fans. Like we're like, I mean, we was rooting for the dude. Like we thought he would win. He did shit. He looked good to us. He did what he did. Um, you know, it's on Valdez to look better than this nigga. Remember that shit. Absolutely. I don't want us to sound like we some sore losers shit. Nah, like, yeah. A nigga was like, God damn, I wanted to knock this motherfucker out. But it is what it is. That's that's the game. But keep this in mind. Valdez did not look good, though. Like, not at all. He was the most underwhelming on the whole night, really. Exactly. Like, but they kept trying to sell us like he did, like he was looking sensational. Like, yeah, like I'm just like, ugh, with Ward, yo. Like, Tim these Bradley, niggas. Tim Bradley, who I usually fuck with tough. Yeah, he was, the shilling was crazy by, by Timmy. Yeah. But you kind of, but it was like Ward forced him into the shilling. Because remember how every time Bradley tried to get his nigga props, Ward was like, like, yeah, what do you but- mean? No, yeah, but yeah, yeah, he was like one of those yeah, but niggas like that bitch. Like, you know, one of those bitches that's at the salon, like yeah, you know, my man, he work all the time. This, that, that. Pause. Like he he, he work overtime for me, girl. Da, 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 da. Like yeah, but you know, he never yeah, there. Like <laughs> and then shout to Henny. Like I mentioned, Henny, I think Nav uh, Navarrete Lopez seems like that's what's coming next. Obviously, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Man, he don't get his ass with the. Dude, fuck it up. What, what, what this nigga said? Um, I like how Lopez Bradley said. I like how Lopez is managing the fight. Yeah, but what is managing the fight? Are you trying to survive? Da-da-da-da. Like yo, shut the fuck up, nigga. God damn. Yeah, like, I know what the scores were, but I feel like Blue Nose won good four rounds legitimately. Yeah, no, they didn't show yeah, no the scores. They didn't give no love. They didn't give they didn't With no love, like dude, dude. Only one judge was like on some decent, like I think 97, 93, like right. Yeah, like he kind of seen like what everybody else saw, but uh, like, but uh, I, I. I, Lopez, I don't feel like he got beat up in the fight. Whatever the nose joint, that that was an L. But he he'll definitely rebound. Um, and um, we'll see where he goes from there. But uh, Valdez, I don't know how. Yeah, I don't, I ain't too confident in him fighting no Navarrete. But you know, right? Maybe he might surprise us like he did Birdshell. Yeah. Like Navarrete ain't looked the best in his last fight. So, mm-hmm. but but. Valdez might end up being one of those guys who just low key he win when he not supposed to win. <laughs> right, exactly. I mean, and, and it won't be a knock him losing to Shakur Stevenson because Shakur Stevenson look like he gonna be a future top hundred boxer type shit if he just keep getting the right fight. So right, and, and, and regarding Lopez, I'm, I mean, I, I mean, there's something I know that Lopez did tell me about that gave me a glimpse into his future. But one thing that probably needs to be done for him is to probably get at least let him get some wins because like dude you can't you can't in the, i mean obviously no i mean you know fights like this yeah it's, it, it was a good look to get on a co-man on a big review like this but you know i, I think yeah, might, he had the novel fight he had that abraham novel fight before this yeah he needs to yeah get, the novel fight so yeah they might need to give him you know uh, he might need he, he's there's a soft touch at least you know to get his wins up you know to get a, knockout. Shit, a couple like a couple, a couple a couple for real yeah for real and yeah, let him get some knockouts because I remember how he was telling us he did like the strength training, the weight training for the first time. Yeah, yeah. I saw the strength in the fight. Like mm-hmm. he has something there, but maybe get some lesser opponents, get some rounds in, and really kind of build off that strength and the physicality right. in the fight. So yeah, I agree, Pat. Yeah, because you don't, you don't want him to be. I mean, because he doesn't. He, he is tough. Like he's not a gatekeeper. He doesn't have gate. I mean, he he, he could do more. No, he could win a world title, bro. Like he. Yeah. He's there, like mm-hmm. he was moving around the ring. He was boxing. His footwork was good. It just 
It's not our fault. Fucking commentary can't give it credit. Like, no, it I, just. Oh my god! I wish I could fight the commentary. Like that's. A, yeah, the commentary was so trash. And the like, yo, I want to like throw a trash can at these niggas. Like, just yeah. turn yeah, over the table. It was mad basura. Yeah, and then the cut yeah. in the back of it continued into the main event. You know, finally, with, y'all, y'all go ahead now. I know niggas yeah, is waiting. With, you know, with Devin Haney and Vasily Lomachenko. Well, I mean, first of all, the build up for this fight was on some like you know, yeah. It, 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 I mean, it, it was a slow build, but come but within the last week or so of the fight. You could tell it was really anticipated. Like people were like, "Okay, you know, yeah, Lomachenko, Lomachenko is gonna get, he's gonna get annihilated." You know, Haney is the one. You know, Haney is, you know, Haney, you know, Haney is the undisputed lightweight champion. All the other stuff like that. And then the push at the weigh-in, Mag, you know, pretty much like made everything like, "Okay, this is what we need to do." Like, and that's and that that clip was everywhere. You know, it was just just like when um, fucking Canelo smacked up Plant. You know, and shit like that. It was just like every fucking where. So everyone was like, yeah, Haney's in the Haney's in the zone and all this stuff. And then, you know, they had the build up with the two excellent episodes and stuff uh, that went to the background. So, yeah, like, you know, this was like we were all expecting like a master class um, of a fight where Haney was going to prove. And of course, you know, before, if you know their past, you know, this is four years in the making. And you know, niggas was you know, niggas were talking about, well, why are they, why are they uh, dwelling on the four years? Like, why are they doing that? Because nigga, because Lomachenko pulled some fuck shit. That's the reason why. You know, that's the reason why Haney was properly motivated for the fight. And Lomachenko was like, yeah, I got him after that shove. Uh, apparently, you did not get him. <laughs> shit. So I mean, the fight was, it was a good fight. It was not. I mean, it was a good could have been borderline great it's not a fight of the year but in terms of you know i think what lb said you know last month it was for the casuals this one was for the hardcores um yeah it was it, it, let's say it was a chess match it was a hell of a chess match too it was the uh the art of chess boxing yeah <laughs> yeah out of, out of one through ten i give the fight maybe a seven or an eight mm-hmm. like eight it, it was seven. intense eight for me yeah, it was definitely. I think, I think a lot of the because um, I rewatched the fight again uh, this morning. I think a lot of the hoopla and all that took away from how great that like like it was really a chess match. They were really going like, an but it was a high speed it, chess it, match. It was like, a high level display of skill. I yeah, mean, you know, they were they weren't on no fucking like. What are you doing? Was they was both kind of like throwing it. I'm a Tank fan, but it was a it was a better <laughs> fight to watch than Tank and Ryan really. Of course. Yeah, of course. Easy because Ryan. Does, like, like that's easy. Like, dude, yeah, look, the last good the tank table. fight, the last good tank fight we had was with Barrios. Yeah, like, that was a good I idea. mean, the Roly fight was decent. Like, don't get me I, wrong. I, like, I, I, I like the Cruz fight. I oh yeah, yeah, yeah table but table, yeah, but I'm talking about a good fight. Like, like them niggas was really throwing, and then you had the knockout. Then this nigga did the backflip. Like, the Cruz yeah, fight was good, like decent, but not like. Like you talking about a memorable night of boxing fight? The burial, yeah, yeah, the burial I, I, tank fight is a classic. You know, but, but hold on, let me damn these comments. Like y'all, the comments are commenting in here. These um, <laughs> they, they go, like, back, go to back. back they about it. Yeah, uh, hold on. Yeah, I see my name mentioned the but I know uh, Lopez could be a solid gatekeeper. Yeah, if they just do like Pat said and kind of give him some wins, let him build back himself, then. Cause if he's gonna be a gatekeeper, gatekeeper, make it worthwhile. Like you can't do him like what's his name, Akhmadov. Never give him a close win type shit, and you just yeah. keep trotting him out there. Like, like come yeah. on, yeah. like promoters think. But yeah. okay, uh, Miss Bitch, LLB, aka Shutter. What I told you before, always bet on Haney. It's easy money. Like I mean, we all yeah. pick Haney. Like I think yeah, I- yeah. Like damn, I'm like you. Yeah, yeah. You said it like. <laughs> Yeah. Like, like we had a conversation, like or so. I, I'm just, I can't remember you. I told you it'd be a unanimous decision win. Rack I'm like she knows you. Yeah, she knows you. Oh, probably. I guess. Well, let me. Is that a cat? Like, what is that picture? I can't even recognize. Like a cartoon. All right, anyways. Um, what the hell, Loma do to win? Loma didn't do enough to get the W. Well, hold on, let me Loma ask you. Did Loma get robbed? Did Loma get robbed? No, Loma did. Nah, no, nah, nah, no, nah. It was not a robbery. Stop. I, I can't say it was a robbery. Like, 
because a robbery is like Golovkin Canelo won. That's a robbery. Yeah. This Taylor, this wasn't Taylor like, Catterall. Taylor Catterall. Taylor Catterall, Taylor Catterall would have been a fucking um. No wait wait. Taylor Josh Taylor um. I'm sorry. When you say Taylor, I'm thinking about the Katie Taylor that just got whooped up. Yeah, no, no. Ta- no Taylor and, and Catterall. Was, way, you're asking what Taylor, Taylor Catterall was a robbery to me. Like, Catterall should have won that. That was a more clear... Look, LB, they salty. Haney keeps winning. I, I mean, Loma's loved by the fucking media, and he got a lot of fans. Like, But this is the thing, like... The fight was close enough where I can't argue against somebody saying Loma should have won. Like, I thought Loma won. I thought he won seven rounds to five. I could see a draw. I don't really feel like Haney won. Like, me, honestly, pers- personally, I, like... I definitely feel like Haney won. But if, if someone had him seven rounds, I wouldn't argue. But neither guy won eight rounds. Nobody dominated enough to say it was a clear-cut robbery either way you had it like nobody you dominated that, like you hear that tim cheatham it wasn't no goddamn 116 112 in that motherfucking yeah uh, like that either time. way like no way somebody look a robbery happens when you have somebody like clearly win eight rounds or clearly win seven rounds where it's no dispute like just half ass watching the fight you know a guy won his rounds clearly it's not a bunch of swing rounds but there when were you have a swing, there were quite a bit of swing rounds nah see look when you have look niggas kill me see motherfuckers gotta start scoring fights better you shouldn't have like three four swing rounds you might have two swing rounds if you have more than two swing rounds then you have to your scoring has to tighten up you can't have fucking five swing rounds but then, then you may as well just say the fight was it was a fight of the year draw. Mm-hmm. It's Alito Vargas or some shit. Like I don't think these niggas threw enough punches for us to be saying it's a fight of the year or even some robbery. Like nah, like <clears throat> Loma did a lot of his work in spurts, and I'll be honest, Haney didn't respond well to a lot of his punches. He backed up. He looked shook, worried, like. Yeah, and, yeah. and and here's here's my thoughts on this fight. Uh, I thought about me? that. And my thoughts on that because number one, I mean, we all know Haney is pretty much outgrowing the lightweight division. It, it, it's clear, and but he's professional. He, I, I know he has he has the whole nutritionist and the trainer, all that, just to make sure he he's, he he keeps making the weight. But I think physically now it's starting to sap maybe his maybe a little bit of his punch resistance and his power. Because you can tell, and and, and, uh, and especially his stamina, too. Because usually, Haney can go a hard 12 without, you know, like, looking like he's, like, uh, like, about gasping and shit. But this time, like, dude was, dude got, dude was struggling, you know, like, near um, near the end of the fight. And I'm thinking to myself, God damn, like, what the fuck? You know, and that's when Lomachenko was starting to do the whole coming on shit. So, because Lomachenko dropped the early rounds like he always does. Like, he dropped the early fucking rounds. And that's he didn't, but it, I'll say this, like... He didn't drop the early rounds as bad. Like I felt like the whole fight was competitive. I think a lot of a lot of things I'm hearing is people make it seem like Lomachenko only had two good rounds, like the tenth and the eleventh. And it's yeah, like no, no those, were, those, were, those were his most definitive rounds. Those were the like the clearest, <laughs> clearest of rounds. His his best rounds, but best rounds, yeah. he won rounds clearly, just like Devin won rounds clearly. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like no fucking. <clears throat> it was a more of an ebb and flow fight than anything. I gave, I, I, I gave Loma rounds three, uh, eight, ten, and eleven. Those were his round. Those were Loma's four rounds. I think the sixth round was a swing round that could have went either way. I think maybe the first. Round. I think those. Yeah. It, it, now, hold on. Wait. 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 You only had Loma winning four rounds. Yep. Ah, uh, are you one of these niggas who can't score fights? All right, I'm oh, done. Get get I'm done, dude. Nobody, look, nobody won eight rounds in that fight, fam. Like you do this all the time. Like I'm just, I don't even. It's not worth arguing. Like there's, you have some type of initial bias when you score fights, where you just go overboard. Like you give somebody more the benefit of the doubt than uh, you've done this before. Like, like. A lot of these fights are like either way type of fights, but somehow you get these niggas an extra round on some damn 
Puerto Rican Letterman shit. Oh, no, like it's it's right. with the swing rounds. I could have given that to Loma too, but I think I gave it edged it to Haney. So, yeah, yeah. so and then that tells you right there that you giving Haney the benefit more the benefit of doubt if it's a swing. <laughs> A lot of times then, then, really then okay then you're saying that There was more than two swing rounds I, I swear at one point I had it 5-2-6-3 Like I had it, I had Haney up Comfortably up in the first like eight rounds I had Haney up you know, Haney definitely won the first half yeah he won the first It's half. when the middle yeah. rounds came in The first round <laughs> hold on real quick The first round who y'all did the first round to I gave it to Haney but I, I, gave, it to Haney. Haney. I gave the first round to Some Haney, Haney. Alone, but I, wanna see y'all, y'all say Haney. I gave the first round to Haney I, I could see Loma, but I felt like Haney landed the hardest shot, so that's why I was kind of going off. Like the body work, I mean, you know, the body work. I feel like Loma got a second win because by the fourth round or so, Loma was slowed down. You could tell, or yeah. you know, like because Loma actually kind of moved fast this fight. I felt like you know he, he the, the downloading was was quick. You know? Man, oh, half the time Loma was on some hockey out shit. Like, yeah, just, the, that's, they were doing the crowd was doing that where he wasn't he wasn't landing, but he was throwing five six. Let me throw. Like, come on, five man! Two, and two, and only one yeah. or two of them land, and the crowd. But that's there. the thing when he's doing this. Devin Haney wasn't doing anything. Devin Haney would eat those punches, back up, look sook or, or perplexed, and then he would finally throw a fucking right hand. Like Devin Haney was fighting like Danny Garcia, my nigga. Like yeah, real talk, like he was by as the younger dude, he was fighting behind Lomachenko all night. That's what made the fight closer than what it should have been. And, and I mean, there were two things that I mean, I, I mean, I found impressive about the Haney. Number one, he held Loma to his lowest connect percentage in a fight, That's and two, true. Loma was getting hit with some clean body shots. Like there were like like, and not even like on some like tapping like. The Haney shots that uh, Haney was landing on, like Loma was just like it was. He was hard. But it's not just the body shots. Like honestly, he niggas was, forgetting was, Haney had good head ca- pause, had good head counters. He was throwing single hooks and right hands that was rocking Lomachenko shit back. That's why I felt like he was winning the fight more. Like like Haney won his rounds off of big single shots, right? And okay. Loma won his off of activity. Yeah, right. Left hooks and uppercuts too. Because I think in the he hit a, he hit a few uppercuts. It was the seventh round where he where he hit Loma with an uppercut that you could tell Loma felt that. Like yeah. kind of like fuck with him. There was one, yeah, there was one. So, like, yeah, I remember. So that. much for that. So much for that. All oh, pillow fisted. He can't hurt nobody. No, Loma definitely felt those. Right? Yeah, but Haney still should have been. Th- that's why he need to move up. Because Haney, look, if Haney throws seven hundred punches that fight, he he steamrolls Lomachenko. Like, but I felt like. He just was waiting too much for Lomachenko, and that's what gave him, gave the impression Lomachenko won to so many people and won in their eyes. Like, and the funny thing is too is like, I mean, they were both pretty marked up. Like Lomachenko's face was marked up, and then yeah. Haney's body, his upper, his upper chest was all marked up with, the, with that shit. Like, if them niggas are scrapping. Like, it was a good legit. That's why I don't know how people because like it wasn't a robbery to me, but it it's one of those. It could go on either way. Like, it could be. And look at the Twitter poll. Like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even that shit's close. Like, like there's a lot of people who thought Loman and won. one. I know per- people personally was texting me, hitting me up, like, "Yo, man, Lomachenko got robbed." I know niggas say rob, but like they felt Lomachenko really, really won. And yep, I, I saw that on my Facebook timeline too. It was yeah, like, like all these people can't be wrong. That's what I'm just saying. Pat, 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 who do you think won the fight, Pat? No, I, I said I thought Haney won the fight. Um, uh, one fifteen, one thirteen. Yo, yo, let me let me just tell you the poll right now. So far, it's forty seven votes. Who do you have winning the fight on your personal scorecards? Forty seven votes. Haney and Loma both got forty three percent, dead even, mm-hmm. <laughs> and fifty percent saying a draw. Yeah, nah. that's it. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. Won that fight. Yeah, I mean, it was, but I think. Well, I mean, of course, you you scored him. You gave him eight rounds. Yeah, anybody who care. anybody who gave either guy eight rounds, they're not gonna look at it as the the, the, the dudes who gave Lomachenko eight rounds. They're the niggas who scream a robbery. I the niggas watch. who gave Haney eight rounds. They're the ones that niggas is like, see, like, come on, bro. Now, hold on, hold on. I mean, Rome. What I know, you had your opinion. What's your opinion on the fight? Oh, this nigga probably smoking. Probably, probably. I could have given, I could have given, look, you know, what? I could have given Loma another round. 
I think there'd be six right. round I could have given him. Real quick, let me ask you Seven or five, he still wins. Is, right. is there a bigger yeah. store loser in boxing right now than Lomachenko? <laughs> I mean, somebody that, I mean, every every fight he loses, he makes an excuse. And his yeah. fans are no worse because they be like, he, he doesn't have a clear loss. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, like honestly, I feel like Jermaine Ortiz got robbed against Lomachenko. But he got the, and, and see, and this is why the game is the game. And this is why I'm not calling robbery for this nigga because I felt like Ortiz got robbed. Like, I, I felt he won 115, 113. He won. I'm about to drink some more of these Loma tears. You know what I'm <laughs> he, he won more to me. He won more clearly, or he won his more. He won. He won his rounds more clearer than Haney, because it, there was moments where like he visually kept Lomachenko from coming inside paws, yeah. or going going mid range with him. He was physically being moved back with the punches, like. Uh, like Lomachenko and Haney, even their exchanges were on even terms for a lot of the time. I mean, I, I saw some, I saw so many scores. Like I was, I, I didn't have any winning seven five, but I saw so many scores going for Loma. I expected Loma to get the decision, and if Loma have won, I wouldn't have. I would have some Haney got robbed. It would. It could have went either way. Honestly, you know what I mean. Basically, yeah. Like it was that type. It was that type of fight. Like neither guy really like put his stamp on it like that. Hmm. Yeah, we expect like, it happened. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure y'all expected a little bit more out of Haney. Yeah, no. I think a lot of people, yo, Rax, chill, yo. A lot of people thought Ortiz won that fight, bro. Not just. I'm not the only one thinking Ortiz won that yeah, fight. No, I thought Ortiz won that fight. Like Lomachenko got put hands on in that fight, bro. Like, like if you if you tell me Lomachenko won, like even then you can't tell me he won more than seven rounds. Cause I'm gonna grill you like I grill King P with the eight rounds. Cause nobody will. Cause even 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 us having Ortiz winning against Lomachenko, I didn't feel he won eight rounds, but he clearly won seven rounds to me. Like that fight was a draw. Yeah, that fight was, was kind of a draw. Yeah. Or, or, or you could have scored a draw. Like, and, and that's the thing. Like Lomachenko's real good. Like he's pushing these niggas to the brink, and they're young niggas. They young, yeah. They he young. wins some, he lose some. Like he that's what's that. really happening right now. Yeah, I mean, if you're really of course, Salido. Like, Salido's, Salido's was probably the one that actually really probably whooped man, his ass. You got people saying that people trying to make an asterisk for all three of them. No, I'm saying, yeah, yeah. nah, nah. No, Tia Fimo, even though I was crazy and picked Tia, that was a clear loss. Tia would clearly be him. Tia Fimo was the clearest. That was win, clear. actually. That was the clearest win. That was, yeah, not, but I mean, I'm him and Haney both won the twelve. And y'all you, you heard in the comments. I mean, um, after the after the fight, Loma said, "I took I took the twelve off." Yeah, that was. Yeah. I don't know why he said that stupid yeah. shit. But, but then also, too, but, it, also but, it, but Loma's like pretty petty because I remember even before, like when when Haney was talking about you know Allahu Akbar and Alhamdulillah, you know this nigga had to. Be, he really made a point. It's like, yeah, I like to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm yeah, like, that is so fucking petty. Like, and yeah, and, and funny too. It's like. When when Devin said that shit, everyone booed. When you know when Loma said shit, everyone started cheering. I'm like, yo, like what the fuck? A villain this? to the end, like this nigga, yeah. like yeah, like this, this like this fight had elements of fuckery that probably shouldn't have never had, like uh, ever, like you know. But it's just oh well, Loma was back in the back crying. Oh poor Loma. Yeah, he, he tried to make it just like with Mark. Like they're doing the same thing they do with Marquez, uh, Juan Juan Manuel Marquez. They try to make every loss seem like he should have won type of shit. Like, like no, you got outboxed this fight. You got outboxed that fight, nigga. You lost. Like, like none of his losses, like, the Haney loss, he lost. Like, mm -hmm. even if you put it, like, even if you put an as asterisk toward the uh, Haney fight, motherfuckers was trying to put an asterisk toward the Tiafimo fight. I remember the podcast, the recap. Motherfucking! There was so many Lomachenko fans that was salty as hell in the, the chat. Shoulder, the mm -hmm. His shoulder was hurt. Yeah, yeah, Niggas was like, "No, Lomachenko should have won. It was a draw. This, this, that, that." We're like, all of us was like, "Nah, like Tia Fimo clearly won. Like, mm -hmm. seriously, like, no, like, wasn't no could have gone either way type of win. It was a clearly win, and niggas couldn't accept that shit." Oh, there's there's a lot of doubt that he beat. Him. Sorry. Cry about it, but anyone. It was a. It was a. Either one could have fight. Like he don't have a like. 
and 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 that's a sad thing. Like that's a, that's what the Lomachenko stands are hurting about because y'all used up y'all fucking could go either way type of fight with Tio. Right. <laughs> that was a clear loss. Y'all niggas couldn't accept it as a clear loss. Y'all. So everybody was also like, "Damn, y'all niggas annoying. Y'all some sore losers." And now when y'all get a fight where the, it could have gone either way, <laughs> y'all y'all try to y'all try to double down on that, and we're like, "Nah." We not having it, bro. Like your man's lost. Yeah, it could have gone either way, but if, if we oh, say this, it could have gone either way. Y'all gonna want, y'all gonna want every fight he loses yeah, to go either bro, way. That guy, oh, he, he said, it. matter of fact, he beat Salido. No, he didn't beat Salido. See, no. yeah, see, and that's the problem. See, and, and that's the problem. Like you, you, you give Loma fans an inch, and these niggas are take a mile. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like no. we literally just said, like, look, even the Salido fight, Lomachenko, you know, he he came back in the late in the fight, especially the twelfth, da da da. But he lost that, he lost that shit. Yeah, you, you can argue a draw if you want, but he lost. Tiofimo, he clearly lost that. Okay, any fight could go either way. Real close fight, Nick Tuck battle, aggressive, da 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 da. I get it. Could go either way. A lot of people, yeah, draw. A lot of people. Good amount of people said Lomachenko won. Good amount of people said Haney. You it's one of those Shakur type of shit? fights. You, you, you think that Shakur shit kind of made it? You know, when Shakur came in the ring and was like, yeah, Lomachenko should be the champion. How should kinda... Toledo have been DQ? Oh, my. This is foolishness. This is Oh, with the low blows? No, then, okay. Did I, I'm the man who should have been DQ three times against uh, Joseph Eg Egbeko, right? Yeah. <laughs> At least admit that, and then and we'll we'll kind of get the Salido. But, um, but matter of fact, he beats But y'all niggas are never going to give, like, they like, give dude, it. like, see, that's the thing, like, like and y'all make it bad for the niggas like me who try to be objective and call it down the middle even with me saying i thought lomachenko won i'm still trying to be objective this that give devin his props but lomachenko fans y'all make it so hard to do that shit because like now y'all try to just erase every close performance this nigga had like yeah. like nah bro like the nigga lost man. like hey and the, the thing is sour grapes too because he thought he was going to beat Teofimo so convincingly that they didn't even have a rematch clause. Right, exactly. That came back to bite him. Beat up his leftovers. Then he fights a young dude, and he fucking... He should have lost the fight, but no, they, they're they like, nah, we're going to save him for damn uh, Haney. Mm -hmm. Gets the Haney fight. Gives us a good fight, but hey, he gets the... He, he doesn't get the... the uh, he gets the, the opposite end of the, the, uh, the decision. Doesn't yeah. go in his favor. Kind of like how Polly Malinazzi and Pablo Cesar Cano and then the Broner fight. Broner, Malinazzi tried to, oh, I got robbed against Broner. Dude, you won the first four rounds and get stuck and you got walked down and just knocked the fuck upside the head for the next remaining eight rounds. Right. But, and you lost. The last fight, nigga, you got walked down for like seven rounds and dropped and you still won in your hometown. Right. You should have two. You should have an extra loss. But niggas give you that because that was your hometown. You got a little Canelo, Katie Taylor love, nigga. <laughs> so nah, dog. That, that's just you watch boxing enough. Niggas win, niggas lose. Like, it is what it is. This fight wasn't no fucking robbery. Like, yeah, some of us had Lomachenko winning. Some of us had Haney winning. But at the end of the day, it was a close fight, man. Like, it was good for boxing. I think the commentary with Tim Bradley fucking on on his knees, Paul's and his throat hurting the whole fucking fight was, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, when Shakur was when Shakur was in the ring looking like a, like a jealous brother, jealous cousin type shit, and like Lomachenko. We saw food. food. Look, when yeah, you yeah, see so. food and you hungry, you make your way to the table. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. That yeah, table yeah. was. Hey, look, look, Haney, look, yo, Haney did not look all that great, bro. He did. Like, he didn't like yo. At, at least see, and this is the thing. At least admit that. Like Pat, at least admitting that. Like yeah, it was a close fight. Had Haney winning, but yeah, he didn't look his best. Like he made Lomachenko kind of look better than what he should have looked for 34, 35 years old. Right. So I can understand why Shakur Stevenson is feel. Should I pick Haney to knock Lomachenko out? But Haney don't have it in him to push it with no more with the punches. He should need he need to go to 140. He yeah. stay at 135. He sacrifices punch resistance. He gonna turn into uh R.I.P. Corrales, where yeah. he gonna move up too late, and it's gonna feel like damn dude, you may just go to 147. 
at that point, yeah, you're a big motherfucker. Uh, and he, he, he yeah. probably top out pause at 154, you know. Um, I mean, I, the, the poll almost did a, I don't know what our poll that that poll did. It did pretty decent numbers, but I think he has to go to 140. I don't know. The, I think Tank got the most votes on that. Yeah, about what, what Devin Haney should do next. And he, would, and he would entertain a tank fight. If, if, yeah. You know, 84 if, votes. He's saying at 135 for a tank fight. Is it 84 votes. What should Devin Haney should do next? 45% said fight tank. 20 said fight Shakur. 35 said move to 140 on 84 votes. Mm. Um, I think moving up. I thought he should have moved up before this fight. He, he kind of got yeah. to get out of jail card in this in this case. I mean. He, he, he did. He honestly did. Like, Yeah, he could have easily lost this fight. Uh, See what was what's frustrating niggas is the people who don't want to admit it was a close fight. That's it what it fight. is. I love the I love this fight. I think it was a top the top niggas who fight. had it eight rounds either way. Like I, I put this in my top five fights of the year so far. You know? It was a close fight though. So. I, I put it I put it in top five, top three, top five. It was to me. I, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I'll say this now. I mean, now I was a good like for a card. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. I mean, now I mean this is I mean this is the last con- this last contract to fight for Devin Haney. So now the world is his oyster right now. I mean, does he resign with Top Rank? Does he go to? Well, Matt Paulie Hayes? said he resigned. Uh, he signed for two fights. Mm, no, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and Bill said that's not the case. Oh, it's not the case. Oh, okay. So damn. Yes. Yeah, why Paulie lying? We believe in what Paulie says. Oh. Paulie overcompensates. Paulie, Paulie probably wishes he was he was lighter white skin, like how sometimes they say Colin Kaepernick and them overcompensate for being light skin. You know, pro black. He's you know, he's like on the opposite spectrum of that shit. <laughs> I swear. Paulie he, he, already benefited from the whole urban culture, black culture, yeah, yeah. boxing this nigga, stimulus. This nigga like had to fight with, with his braids taking off his extensions because he was getting fucked up in the UK or some shit. Well, not yeah, against, um, what's his name? Uh, in Dow. <laughs> yeah, in Dow. Yeah, love more in Dow. Yeah, like, I mean, I mean, I, I, I've never liked Paulie as a pilot. Like, Paul, is Paulie story, as a personality you know? graded on me. So that's why it's like, you know, when you see this motherfucker who's like, yo, 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 homie, yo, and all this other shit to doing what he's doing now, it's like, he's doesn't like, doesn't surprise yo. me. Doesn't surprise yeah. me at all. Yeah, it's 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 disgusting. Like and He's always like, complaining. And even when he's complaining, and that's the thing, like, he doesn't understand, like, He's so racist to the point where he doesn't understand his white privilege has always worked for him in the boxing <laughs> world. Like, anytime this motherfucker complains or gets on a soapbox, he gets results. He complained about the uh, the, the decision against uh, Juan Diaz, baby bull. Mm-hmm. Bitch him on about that, which he was right. But the fact is, how many people get to complain like that and they actually get the rematch? Mm. There's been niggas who was robbed worse. Way worse, yeah, I remember that. And they'll complain even harder, and they don't get the rematch. Right, but yeah, but, yeah, and, but he gets it. Look, look, he complained about other white people. He complained about Ricky Hatton. Oh, he ain't shit. That fight, he only get away with all that holding and wrestling and clinching in in, in Manchester. Yada yada, yada yada Fights him in fights him across seas or over in America. What happened? Gets yeah. the shit beat out of him. Nigga gets hooked, left hook, the death. Fucking Buddy McGirt gets damn sentimental and just throws in the towel. Like, that's it. Like, yeah. can't see you get beat up no more, nigga. And he want to curse out Buddy McGirt for saving his life. Yeah. Paulie, so, yeah. Paulie, yeah. Yeah, Paulie, for, for a guy that, I mean, and, I mean, and let's put it this way. I mean, I, I mean, I shook his hand before, and I, I, I still can't believe that, that dude was a boxer. Like, seriously. Like, usually most boxers, like, when I dap their hands, like, motherfuckers, you can tell like, they can probably kill somebody with their hand. Paulie, nah. Yeah, it's like I mean for the fact that he actually became a two division champion and all that two division, like, yeah, he, yeah. He, he should be happy about what he accomplished because he's, he's an he, overachiever. Like he fought he fought the name of names. I mean Zab, Danny Swift, Garcia, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he, he got know, beat up by the name of names. Broner Broner at his Bruno, apex Khan, Sean Porter throwing Bruno. them bows on his ass. <laughs> Yeah, so he was so, the original jobber to the stars. Actually. Yeah, he's the original jobber to the stars. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, Paulie, yeah, Paulie needs to, yeah, Paulie needs to look. It, it needs to stop fucking up his bag, like you know, stop being so fucking racist and say whatever's on his fucking mind. Like, yeah, like oh my god, like, like this is one of those times where I, I like, well, I need a black woman to say who hurt you, like, cause but, this like <laughs> really, like this really fits that. I hate when I hear a bitch say that shit, but. Mm-hmm. Like this is like, like he needs to hear that. Like who hurt yeah, you? Who hurt you? Well, uh, first yeah. off, I do hate when when people say that. And so from now on, my default answer when someone asks who hurt you, 
Rihanna when she got pregnant by ASAP Rocky. Yeah, that's my <laughs> that's my final answer. That's it. I'm sticking to it. Shit, shit. I want to I want to ask who hurt you to some of these fans out there. Like you know, it's one of the things too. It's like some you know some fans are angry. You know that Haney won. Like it's like you know it's like why is fucking Haney won? Some people are you know, so, but the, some of them are angry for like, the wrong reason. Like some were like. Some were like, you know, hey, Haney, you know, you know, it's black on black, you know, it's all about black. And some, you know, that are black are like, nah, Haney didn't win the goddamn thing. Tech could beat him. Tech could beat Lomachenko. All that type of shit. It's like all, 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 all these dualities that are going on in this fight. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, yeah. it's like, yo, it's like, like everyone, everyone tried to, everyone says whatever, but based off the, what type of bias that they got, like a you strong. Know, a lot of this ain't got nothing to do with nothing. People just getting on their soapbox. Nah, oh yeah, whatever. but a lot of you know. Loma did have. I mean, let's be real. Loma did have that great white hope element to him a little bit. Come on now. But he boxes with a little swag, the little style. No, listen, I'm, 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 I'm like that. I know black Loma Chenko fans. Like niggas be caught up in the racial shit. I do like Loma. I mean, some people think I probably hate on Loma, but I, I, Loma's a Hall of Famer. He's a Hall of Famer. You know what I mean? Yeah, like. I, 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 so I, I, that's why it's crazy when niggas be on this. Oh, you a coon? This, that, that. Oh, this motherfucker, that, that, like. Yeah, yeah. I root for black boxers, of course, but I, you know, you recognize the game, man. You know, you're, I you're picked Haney, I've, and I was rooting for him to win, but shit, like, I can't help it. I thought he lost. Like, I mean, it is what it is. Like, right. I mean, Haney got it. I see Haney got in there. Thought Lomachenko won too, but yeah, I believe yeah. her. I was rooting for Haney, but I believe it's like <laughs> niggas is like, give up your black card. Oh, your light skin. <laughs> Give up half your black and, card. And, and, and I think between the all two, like m- the majority of people, probably whoever they're rooting for in this close fight that are you know in an unbiased lens, who you're rooting for, you probably thought won the fight for the most part. You know what I mean? Like yeah, a lot of people are like that, and we, we see it all the time with the scoring and and the narratives being pushed. Mm-hmm. Remember the whole Golovkin Canelo too with the whole he didn't fight Mexican style, so yeah, Canelo should have won. Like. Like, is that a scoring pre- pre- uh, prerequisite or that's just you attaching yourself to an agenda in the fight? Right. And and you had legit professionals saying shit like that. You, Roy Jones said that stupid shit. Like, mm-hmm. like, like, like nobody's immune to a bad hot take. That's, this is boxing. Right. Every now and then, even the smartest, realest nigga can say something that's kind of like, really? Like, that's how it is. But like, some people just, they OD on them shits, man, and then you can't take them serious. Right. So, yeah. Rax, yeah. Loma, Loma won. So, Loma I mean, made, I, I was saying this fight, I mean, this fight has, I mean, it's, I mean, I mean, on the positive side, you know, it, it's buzzing, and people are actually watching the fight and actually going Hold up, the- hold up, hold up. Time out. I'm going to have to look into that name. Nick Gurr. Hmm. You don't find <laughs> that name suspicious. Yeah. Uh, you don't find too. that suspicious. Yeah. Uh, what region does that last name come from? Yo, what year is this with this nigga with the schoolyard and usernames? Like, what the fuck this nigga got going on? Yeah. Between this and Miss, I didn't even, I didn't even like sound out in my head. But this, no, is I, I, I noticed, I noticed that that Nick Sus name, but he, no comments yet. So. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I mean, you got a you got a Dragon Ball AVI, but like that. Yeah, name, between, you know. between this, y'all see these? I can't see these shit. Yeah, because like, Nick uh, Nick has a, a, a Goku beating the Red Ribbon in his, his profile picture, and oh, Miss Bitch has a One Piece. Uh, yeah, because whoever whoever's behind us talking to uh, LB took off that and showed the dreads. Yeah, like I don't know who the fuck is this, yo. Like take the head off and show the dreads. Like the fuck, like. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I guess we made it now that now we're having trolls like taking you know. Yeah, because I'm like I don't even have dreads. No, no, because you're, you 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 ha- like you have that hat of like that hat that the the rosters wear <laughs> when you a regular oversized hat like. Yeah. <laughs> And I can't. I I gotta wear oversized because I got a big old like apple head, nigga. I got the the Gina head, nigga. Like, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. That 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 name. <laughs> y'all got trolls. Yeah, exactly. You're too. Yeah, he said y'all done made it. Y'all got trolls. Yeah, like. He yeah, said your so, dreads are number one. Prove it. <laughs> what the fuck? This nigga don't have no type of no dreads. Yeah, like I don't even I don't even like like dreadlocks as a hairstyle like that. It's like. 
It's kind of neat. Yeah. So I mean, the after the aftermath of this, I mean, Lomachenko obviously is going to be going to have to do a little rebounding, and Haney obviously holds the cards. Either I mean, I, I know we I know we did a poll like, what do you think would be Haney's next move or whatever, right? I think there. Haney's moving up. To be honest, got to. No. And he'll really be tempting the gods. He stay at one thirty five. Yeah, but now yeah. it'll just be interesting because he's got options. He could fight. He's got options. Yeah. I think. He I think he's gonna milk. Taylor, he's gonna milk the. Uh, you know, milk having the belt. So yeah, pilot, chill, yo. Like, yeah. let's take a finish. Let King P finish, please. Yeah. All right. No, nah, I'm saying he could. He has the, the Taylor Tio uh, winner. He could fight that. Um, he can go to Matchroom. He can fight Pro Grace. Hearing Matias might be going over there. Like, he's got options all over because 140 is that. Hell, he could fight for Rowley's title. Like, there are so many options that he, like, at 140 that he could go anywhere. So, although I don't know if he'll go to Matchroom because, uh, what, what do you mean, Haney not black? See, yeah, now you, you're going a little too far. <laughs> say, but Haney's Japanese. Nah, don't, like, don't, don't feed the trolls. But, like, I'm, I don't know if I, like, Honestly, maybe this is just a pride thing, but like I feel like Hearn put his foot in his ass again when he made that slick comment about Haney saying he's like, Well, if you take away the belts, then what is he? Like, what is his draw? Like now, like, why would he sign to you after you say something like that? Like yeah. he was kinda of uh, like, Hearn like all like Hearn's a hater, yo. Let's be honest. Wait, wait, what do you mean with Hearn went for Haney is about as black as Keith Thurman. Well, first off, Keith Thurman is black, so he's half black. So he's he's black. A, he needs to go to his black. <laughs> and, Haney, and both Haney's parents are black. So, like, yeah, yeah don't like, feed the trolls, Pete. I'm not, yeah, I'm but, not feeding hey, yo, hold on, wait. Like, we, we ain't play this game in a minute because we ain't really have no serious fights in a minute. So, we gonna play the damn game for a little minute. If, if y'all don't mind, before we close this one. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm ready. All uh, right, so a little hot takes. So if we all in agreement that Haney should move to 140, right? Yes, yes, yeah, absolutely. Okay, um, I'm gonna throw some names out there. Um, Haney versus Jose Ramirez. Oh, he, he, he beats Ramirez. Yeah, he beats him. That'll be, 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 be Ramirez is Ramirez is like declining more and more every fight. I Haney versus Barbosa Jr. He beats Barbosa. He beats Barbosa. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm just let you know right now. For me, nah, nah, nah wait, 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 nigga, don't, don't, don't kill the game, nigga. Hold on, hold on. These niggas are some Haney loving ass niggas. I think he. I, I know, bro. I know, bro. They are, they are. Yo, yo, yo he loses. Nah, he I see Haney winning, but these are all like Barbosa. tough fights. <laughs> he loses to Barbosa. No, he. Nah, I don't think so. That could no. be a. No, Barbosa no. hasn't been looking his, his best either. But um, okay, okay, Haney Progre. That's a tough fight. That's a really tough. That's a tough fight for. Um, I don't see Progress winning that. Oh, that's, a, that's okay. a really tough fight. Let me give I you. Got, I got Haney winning another, stealing another decision in that. <laughs> when they're <laughs> <all laughs> stealing oh, another decision. <laughs> What's the name after Ramirez? Progress. Barbosa. Uh, Barbosa. Barbosa, Barbosa, Barbosa Junior. Oh. Hold on, where the fuck you was at, nigga? Shit. Yeah, I was grabbing food. Um. Oh, you got your spoon, bro. Nah, pork. It's noodles. You can't, can't, can't even eat <laughs> I didn't know you eat fucking rice with a goddamn spoon, but hey. Right, Shit. Right. But nah, okay, Pat. Um, I mean, what's what's his motherfucking name? Pilot. Um, pilot, pilot. Pilot, yeah. Um, Barbosa, Barbosa Jr. Uh, Haney. Haney. Haney, Haney, Haney. Okay, Haney. Um, Progray. Progray will knock him out. Well, where the fuck was Pilot when he was doing this shit? Yeah, I know. You made me scroll the fuck up. I stepped out. No, um, Progre will knock him out though. To me, I hope this is a good ass fucking food you got, nigga. Shit. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Haney and Matias. Matias is a bad style for him. Matias would brutalize, knock him out too. Matias would probably, yeah. probably stop. So, sounds like somebody needs to stay at lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> he can't, he can't okay, I got another one. I got another one. Haney versus Catterall. He beats Catterall. He beats Catterall, yeah. That's a good one, though. He should beat Catterall. Catterall fights this weekend, but he should. Be, we'll see how that looks. But yeah. Oh, Catterall fights this weekend? Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He's he's on the... Which... Oh, he's on, isn't he on, he's on the Loma... Uh, sorry, the, the Lopez Collin. Yeah, he's, right? a, he's a corner. No, player. he's, he's oh, on... Right. Wrong one. Wood, uh, Laura Wood. Laura yeah, Wood. Yeah, he's on Laura Wood because he signed a match room. Yeah, my bad. Wrong I, one. Um, 
Let me see. Haney versus Angry Fist. Depends on which Angry Fist we're getting. Right. The best Angry Fist you can get. The the one who beat up Santiago. Oh, okay. So, okay. The best so, Angry Fist then. I think Gary Antoine wants to Angry Fist. Huh? Who, who wins? Angry Fist. Angry Fist. Yeah, yeah. G A R. I pick. I pick Antoine. Right, okay. Um. Haney, Josh Taylor. Uh, I would, it, it'd be a close fight, but I'd say Haney would probably get that one. Only because I, I don't think I don't know how much Haney, uh, Taylor has left to him at one forty. I mean, this this. I right, won't we'll hold back. We'll we'll wait to see after the TO fight. Well, we'll Taylor, be I got one. I got one. Let me interject. Hitchens. Yeah. Hitchens I knew you. I knew you was gonna say that. First off. No, I, I almost want to see. I gotta wait to see what he can do in love no, first. I, honestly, I've never been impressed, as impressed with Hitchens as everybody else is. Like, I don't see. It. Like, I saw great value point. Haney. What? He great value Haney. He, they fight similar. Like, he's Haney with le- he's Haney with, with more less. Mm. With more yeah, and he struggled against guys that Haney would not struggle. Like, dude, dude, what? Because he don't have passion. Like, dude, he don't dude, have that extra. Mm. Like with the did, offense, did, did people not see this guy go life and death with Arhenis Mendez? Like, come on now! Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not big on on hitches. I'm just not. Haney would be. So you you think he beats Love? I think he beats Love, but I think Love is going to make it more competitive than people. I don't even know if he beats Love though, because Love power, like Love explosive, like because the thing is, Love him. got like has the lapses. Like if Love. Like he's kind of like he got some zab in him. Pause to me, like, like you know, zab is always at his best when he's offensive. Yes, yes. Like when he's he, like he's the confident. defense is good too when he's in the zone, but the offense takes him to that zone. And I feel like Love has is the same type of guy where when he gets into his offense and he's explosive, he blah, 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 he can fuck you up. But then he. He has these lapses where, like, remember, he was let Baron check get into the fight, mm-hmm. and well, it's like you get. He, he took off his foot. He took his foot off the gas in the Baron check fight. But why? Like that's the problem. Like because Baron check wasn't providing much resistance because Baron. Well, Baron check was though. That's the problem. Like Baron check was getting back into the fight. No, nah, the love look, love looked bad. Baron check looked shot. Like he looked shot to pieces. He was shot to pieces. And I that's that's what makes it so bad that Love was actually having lapses with this nigga and letting dude right. stay in the fight so long and yeah, actually yeah, land yeah. punches. Yeah, Love, dude, Love yeah. got dropped the two fights after back to back fights. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's another thing. That's what I'm saying. Like Love seemed like one of those dudes who's who's fighting at eighty percent. True. When he has a hundred, he has hundred and ten percent talent. So that that's why like the Hitchens fight is actually a good fight to kind of see like. Does, does your potential beat Hitchens' consistency? Because right. but but Hitchens' consistency is like what consistency? <laughs> no, it's it's a consistent where he could do the same thing over and over and over and over and just beat you that way. It'll but, work most times, and it'll work ninety percent of the time. But we're all looking for him to take it up a notch and be like, okay, put a little oomph on this, uh, on that. Like little mix it up, throw a little spice on there. Like, cause throw some jalapenos on the nachos, nigga. <laughs> like that's what we waiting for. Like we know love could give you some jalapenos on the nachos, but Hitchens, we just know he's just gonna give you the regular cheese sauce, nigga. <laughs> yeah, that Taco Bell cheese sauce, not even the shredded yeah. cheese. And, and and Haney, maybe he could provide the uh, the gravy for the fries. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, he can lead that. Say that shit for them judges. For me, I think Haney at 140 is going to have issues with anybody that's going to have the physical strength over him. Because it's going to be hard to deal with these guys' physical, like physicality. Right? And that's the thing. See, that's another thing. It looked like Lomachenko was just as strong as this nigga. Yeah. And, 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 and you know what? The commentary was loving it because they kept making a big deal out of it. Where they always mm-hmm. try to make it seem like. Like me, it just looked like Lomachenko was underratedly strong against Haney. Like, I don't feel like he was, he was getting physical with him, but they was both getting physical. But him just being physical enough to stand toe to toe and push him back at times made fucking top rank ESPN, them niggas just lose it and were like, oh yeah, he, uh, Haney pushed him. 
but well, now who's the strongest guy? And they were just going overboard with it. And I'm like, like I feel like I, mean, it, I mean, it wasn't like it wasn't like Haney was getting out muscled, but it was like they were on even grounds. So if you know, thank you. That that's exactly what I'm saying. Like it was more like more even ground with it. Like there was times where Haney kind of got the better of it. Then there's times when Lomachenko got the better of it. But yeah. Just the fact that Lomachenko was there. Yes, that's what I'm saying. If you're on even, they made it even worse. If you're on even ground with Loma, now imagine having to go up, to, uh, you know, to 140 against guys that are much physically stronger than Loma. Yeah, having to muscle with those guys. So I was saying, anybody with muscle, that's what I was saying. Like Josh Taylor could provide a lot of issues with for Haney because he's just physically strong. But I just don't know how much more left he has in the tank. And right. he's rough though. Like he, he's crafty. He's a inside. rough guy. Crafty he's real crafty inside. Like, like we were talking, think Loma's crafty inside. I think Taylor. Think he really looks like um, in June next in a couple weeks against To. Then we'll June, I, I got one more. Go Haney on. versus Sandor Martin. Oh, oh, that's a first of all, that, that's a boring fight. Haney versus Puelo. Yeah. Oh, Haney beats Puelo. Yeah. Ag- Ag- uh, Ag- uh, Ag- 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 that's a good fight. That's a good, but they're running Akmadov through the ringer. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, how about Sims? He, he's going to be Derek Jenko soon. How about the guy that beat him, Sims? Ooh, that's a good fight. Sims. Um, right. Haney versus Sims? Ooh. That's a good fight. Oh, H- Haney versus uh, Delvin Rodriguez. Ooh. Elvis, Elvis Rodriguez? Elvis, nigga. Oh, Elvis. 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 Delvin, what, 40? 154 Delvin? No. I know, right? <laughs> what I said, Delvin. El- the thing favorite. is with Elvis, he got no, some I would, crazy. I would, favor, I would favor Haney. I'd favor Haney. I'd favor Haney, but there's a caveat. Haney's chin, bro. I don't know. Rodriguez got some yeah. power. Yeah, Elvis? Elvis could crack. get with Haney at 140. Elvis wouldn't be... He wouldn't... I don't, I don't know. Unless, they, unless Haney has one of his lapses, which he does, is prone to those lapses. I don't think he'll be in position where... Elvis could really take advantage, tee off on him, and get him a good shot. He's gotten better since the Sims fight. Like he more aggressive. Like he knows he's a puncher now. Type type of um, hey, fight. Like, I didn't think he looked good in his last fight against what's his name. Um, uh, who was the last guy against? I forgot his name now. Okay, Pat, do you remember? Remember who? Who? Um, the last guy Haney fought. I don't know why it's not coming to me. Um, why, why are you pointing to your neck, nigga? Cambosis. No, not Cambo. No, what? You said Haney, right? You no, said Haney. Haney. No, no, uh, Elvis. Oh, Elvis. Um, I don't. I, I don't remember who, that, who Elvis fought. Hey, yeah, who the fuck is LB? Of course, he's going with Loma now. It's your European blood in you that wants Loma. Nigga, don't Loma. beat the trolls. <laughs> don't. I'm oh, sorry. That was a funny one. <laughs> nigga, don't. Beat that was outrageous. <laughs> laugh at that. Oh, Adorno, there we go. Adorno, yeah, Joseph yes, Adorno. Adorno. Joseph Adorno. Yes, he didn't look good against Adorno, and Adorno was kind of mid. So, yeah, I don't think I don't think much of Elvis. Yeah, yeah. but Haney just looked mid to me, though. So, I mean, yeah, he but, I mean but the niggas would be like, but, but he's going against Lomachenko. But I'm like, the Lomachenko that's old, smaller, and just lost to Ortiz, kind of. I'm, I'm just hoping somehow Haney, like, his... Maybe his power gets there at 140. Because, I mean, he's big enough to be a, a, we'll a see, junior. We'll see what he looks like when he's not being drained. Yeah, yeah, that, that's yeah. honestly what it comes down to. I don't feel like we've seen the real Haney yet. I, like, I don't think we... Like, we know how good skill-wise he is. But I don't know if... It's been how maximized. It's, it's been the been maximized bad. when you let the intangibles... When you take the ceiling off the intangibles. And yeah, it is you got to feel good. Like, you got to weigh good. You got to feel right to unlock them channels in your body. Like, we don't, we don't know if Devin Haney could really dig deep or take some of these punches sometimes because we see it at 135 and it's like, eh. I mean, his dad, I mean, Yoel Judah, Zab Judah is like, you know, his godfather. He's his, you know, sideline trainer. You know, but when when Bill Haney was telling them, "Oh, you got this fight in the bag in the tenth round," I'm like, "Bro, yeah, no, that was that was like uh, like props to Devin for kind of taking matters into Devin his kind of the Amazon because the advice that that Bill was giving him was horrible, horrible advice. Mm-hmm. Like, why are you telling him after the ninth round that he's up? You would got this in the bag, like 
That's horrible advice. Like, I would never tell my fighter that, oh, you rock. So you just chill. Nah, yeah, you, you know. can't say that. You can't say that. Yeah, you, yeah that, that, made, that made no sense. So, no, no, no. It was a close fight. Do you think um, Haney, you know how, like, I guess they were saying Loma nullified the jab, but I feel like Haney did a good job of nullifying the quote unquote angles Loma usually did. You didn't see none of those angles. At times. Yeah, at times, right? Yeah, I mean, Haney still, I mean, Haney still got some of the foot faint work, you know, going on, so it wasn't like, it wasn't completely flawless, though. But like I said, he did a good job of nullifying it for most of the fight, so he gets, he gets props for that. It kind of made Loma Chenko attack him more, actually. Right. So it kind of almost backfired, really. But it did set up um, Haney to go to the body real good. So. <clears throat> but sure it, is. Yeah, it is what it is. I think we've kind of yeah. done all. And not really else to say about it, right? Like, yeah. 